was over this crash in Littleton. A tractor trailer full of heating oil flipped onto a small Ford Focus. It took crews hours to rescue the victim trapped inside the car and we're told he will survive. WBZ's Julie McDonald picks up the story along 495 tonight. Julie. Yeah, Katie, amazingly, both men involved in this crash are expected to be okay. Their injuries serious, but not life threatening. Now, the driver who was trapped in that car beneath the tractor trailer, he was actually alert and speaking to first responders before he was rescued and flown by a medical helicopter from Maine. Crews from Littleton and surrounding towns worked frantically for more than an hour to free a 41 year old Salisbury man trapped beneath this leaking tractor trailer. Westford and Air were on scene with us, and uh, the team worked between all of the communities and working together. I, I couldn't ask for any more. Uh, the way that everybody just worked together to really um, work at freeing him from the wreckage of that vehicle. Uh, it was an extensive extrication, and it was uh, they, they did a phenomenal job. Investigators say the Ford Focus was changing lanes on 495 South when he collided with the tractor trailer filled with heating oil. That driver, a 52-year-old gardener man, did try to brake, but both vehicles went off the highway with the truck rolling onto the car. Heating oil leaked for the duration of the rescue, but hazmat crews say this could have been so much worse. This is not that dangerous. Home heating oil, not that dangerous. If this was a gasoline tanker, this would be a much bigger, different operation. And as you can see right now in this live look, still a big mess here on the southbound side of 495 in Littleton. Crews working in the bitter cold to right that tanker before they can clear this scene. They do expect here to they do expect to be here for a couple more hours, which will of course affect traffic on the southbound side, which is still down to one lane. On WBZ at 11, I'll tell you a little bit more about how they controlled that spill for the duration of this rescue. We're live in Littleton. I'm Julie McDonald, WBZ News.